I'm not a YouTube guy, but I'll show you how this goes together. These are the pieces after they've come off the printer. If you'd like to put some grease on this part, you can. It'll give you a little more drag and maybe make the reel a little more uh, sticky. Uh, otherwise, just basically push these sides together. Shove it in until you hear a click. At that point, it's super free spinning and it's ready to accept your reel of filament. Next thing you need to do is put this clip on. Um, and this clip's available in two different stiffnesses. Actually fits into a little recess. And you can either glue it in with super glue or you can use a number six sheet metal screw or plastic screw to secure it. And uh, basically, trying to see this on the camera, uh, just screw this in until it's snug. And that's it. Um, as I said, there are two different clips, so one allows you to pull these out fairly easy. The other one, it's a little harder. Let me move the camera, and I'll show you how to put this in the printer. Basically, I'm going to take the reel off, grab the old reel holder, and... Pull it towards the front of the machine. Take the new one. Make sure the slots are lined up. It snaps in. At that point, you can take your spool and put it on. And use your tapered centering nut to allow you to mount it. Basically, you want to make sure you've got the tapered end started inside the spool. This hex piece keeps the spindle from rotating while you're snugging that up. And then basically, uh, it's free spinning and you're good to go.